I know, I know, I know. You guys are gonna say, oh Shay, we saw you in two other videos with this hairstyle, but I'm feeling this do. So I wanted to create some content with this do. Don't judge me. Hey, I'm self-employed. I got time. I could do this. You feel me? <laughs> uh, hey you guys, how you guys doing? If you don't know me and you've never heard about me before, I go by the name of Essence of Shay. Please follow me on all social media platforms so you can be a part of my crew and we could kick it together. I learn from you, you learn from me. We can't go wrong. In this video, I wanna discuss my top three mistakes when starting my lock hair journey and even 13 years into it, about to be 14 next year. So if you wanna see what my mistakes are and maybe you could add on in the comments below what your mistakes are, let's continue watching. Let's continue watching, like continue watching. Mistake number one, I use beeswax in my hair. When I first started my locks, I was told that beeswax will help bind your locks. They will help your locks form quicker. They will make them thicker, all this crap. And the fact of the matter is, is that I didn't know better and I didn't see anything wrong with beeswax until my locks started forming and I started getting that white crust and all kind of things inside my lock, the shaft of my locks and that was caused from the beeswax. I'm not a hair specialist. I am not a loctician. I can only speak about my hair so I'm sorry if I don't know the correct terms like other people do i'm sorry uh so don't judge me on that i can only be personable with you and tell you what i went through and beeswax they form that white mildew like not mildew but th that th you know when you be picking at your locks because they have all kind of white stuff in it that is what forms inside your locks because of beeswax beeswax is just not good it's just bleh. it's just ugh. i personally don't suggest using them but this is your journey so you decide on your own accord i don't want to tell you what to do i'm just telling you what i i wish i did and flaxseed gel especially with honey will give your hair some shine some nice shine it will be healthier for your hair follicles it's just all around better for you my second mistake was you guys all know because i say this time and time again time and time again was getting my hair shaved the problem was i mean when i think about it now it's really not that bad but some of my locks probably wouldn't be as thin as the majority of my locks are thick but some of them are really thin and that's just a combination of doing a lot which would be my third so I don't want to tell you that yet but I got my locks shaved if you guys don't if you guys are new to following me my locks were shaved when I first started because they were like thick and that's kind of bad because say I wanted to comb out my locks. Me combing out my locks, well, it's probably all of that damage is probably grown out by now. But uh, I want to say about six years ago, if I wanted to comb out my locks, I would have a, you're going to have a lot of fallout, but I would have more fallout because my hair follic my hair strands aren't the same anymore they were shaved so what would be a long strand is now cut in half you know what i'm trying to say is now choppy so combing it out is just you you, you just you, your hair is just falling out so you pro i probably have this much left by the time i combed out all my hair mistake number three is how much times i twisted my locks 
Um, and this goes into how many times I put my hair in my, my locks when I'm sitting being bored or every two weeks I would just look at my hair and be like, ugh, I don't like how that looks. I don't want to look like who shot John, so I need to go twist my hair. And that makes your roots and your actual locks really sensitive because you keep twisting, keep forcing that twist action you're gonna keep is gonna get thinner and thinner and thinner and break more just i should have just left my hair alone once a month would be fine every two weeks like i could wash my hair every two weeks that's not a problem but twisting it and putting that force and that pressure is just too much and it that no that's like every time you put your say you put your hair in a ponytail every single day eventually that hairline baby is gonna keep going back and i'm still going through this may the lord be with me because i'm still going through this is these are my three mistakes i hope you guys don't go through what i went through and if you are stop it now let me know in the comments below what are your three mistakes that you started off with or maybe going through right now and have enough time to cut it off. Like, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you share my video. Make sure you subscribe, guys. Please subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, Tiger Lilies. It's okay. We all have bumps in the road and you happen to survive them.